There's that moment where you open your eyes. The one where you wonder if it would be better just to quit it all and lay in bed forever. Iranaka, maka. Ah, fine. Living in Korea for the past 10 years and getting married here has taught me a couple of things. One is that home isn't necessarily the place where you came from. And the second is that no matter how many times you and your wife go food shopping, there's still never anything to eat. They say the cereal you eat says a lot about your character. If I'm honest, the cereal selection in Korea kind of sucks. It's either overly sweet and sickly, or tastes like sandpaper. But as I've gotten older, I've become more conscious about my health. So, sandpaper it is. In whatever country you live in, life is full of high expectations and disappointments too. But those disappointments can often make you appreciate the good things you have in life. I myself have come to be thankful for the country I'm in and the job that I have. Something that I don't think I'll ever get tired of. Expiration date, time limit. There are times when we have to be punctual. I used to be the kind of person who hated relaxing. I always wanted to be either working or doing something productive. A side effect of the freelancing life, I guess. But recently, the little things in life have started to mean more to me. There is a Korean term called Toakeng, which translates to the little things in life that bring happiness. And I think now, I've found a good balance. <laughs> 